time of year, guys, uh, this cold weather, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of it. Um, it. It brings those fish off the brush and off your structure in certain lakes, and you can really uh, divide through and pick the bigger fish out. Especially in muddy water, it just seems to grow bigger fish, and I like to really chase trophy fish this time of year. A lot of clients are really interested in catching that wall hanger fish, so I've really tried tuning in on that, and this time of year is one of the best years to do it, so okay, here we so are. Starting out for these winter fish, I go with a long rod when I'm chasing uh, Roman fish. I've got a 14 foot flip stick from Huckabee Rods here. Um, I start out with one pretty long. They've got up to 16 foot, so I like to keep it out in front of the live scope transducer. Um, when I'm maneuvering for fish, it doesn't take much movement to cover several feet on the fish. And then a small profile in the winter time is my go-to. These itty bits from Bobby Garland. That's a thread fin shad, the sun's out, and I'm trying to use something that is as uh, natural as possible. Got a little pink head there. That is a deadly combination for muddy water in this winter time. I've got a split shot above it. Depending on the wind is depending on the size of weight I'll use to cut through that water. Um, and that also goes into fluorocarbon. Uh, this time of year I'll change the fluorocarbon because it cuts through the water a little easier with that weight and gets on those fish when I need to adjust. How's it going, Randy? Depends on who you ask, right? Uh -huh. It depends on who you ask. <laughs> how you guys doing? Good. I'm going to run you through how it's going to work here. You, you can hop up here on this seat here. This will be your home. The um, way this works is I'm going to be going through. You see all the fish here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be going through a lot of these fish to try to find you the big one because you're here for a big fish, right? Yeah, I've never, and I'm not good right, at this. Right, that's, that's just fine. Do you see that arrow on top of the trolling motor? Yep, that's the so, way it's pointing. Right, that's the way it's pointing. And I, I can normally walk you through it. So I'll tell you left or right, up or down. So pretty much you just kind of guide the, uh, the jig where it needs to be. Right. It's super. Toss it out there as far as you tell me. Yeah, yeah, for is. sure. It's it's mainly going to be just dropping straight down, and it's going to be a super slow presentation. They're pretty dang slow, uh, lethargic right. right now. The water's 30, right. 33 degrees, so. Yeah, we call it dead sticking. This yeah, pretty much dead. But when when I tell you to, you're going to do like a slow, really slow raise. Yeah. So so I, as soon as that fish sees it, I'm going to tell you to start raising it, and I mean when I say raise it, it's about this fast. I'll tell you faster or slower usually. Right. I can. So when you hook the fish. You're gonna just swivel on your seat and you're gonna bring him around there. I'm gonna be standing there waiting for him. So that direction. Yep. And on that hook set, you've got a smaller uh, smaller hook. So you don't wanna be super dramatic and, and yank really hard because it'll come out of their mouth. They've kinda of got a softer mouth. So uh, you're not gonna to wanna to just jerk real hard. You kinda of just give it good pressure, if that makes sense. Sometimes you're, you're not gonna feel the bite, but if I say to yank, just humor me and give it a hook set yeah. sometimes. Some, Cause it'll be coming up uh, with Yeah, it. a lot of times you won't believe me, but sometimes you'll have the bait. Okay, go ahead and reach out there to the arrow for me. Go on down. Might drag a one drag out for me. There you go. Come left a little bit. There you go. Up a hair. Right there. Hold her still. See how that fish just pushed away when you got close? Mm -hmm. So we'll just move on to that next fish. And with it. Right there. Go right with it a little bit. Perfect. Right. Don't move a muscle. Down just a little bit, right there. Go right for me. Perfect. Keep going? Yep, right there. He just acting finicky like the others. There you go. Go down a hair, right there, perfect. Here he comes, start slow, slower, slower. Yank, there you got him. Bring him over here to the right. That should be a good fish. Real thumb? Yep. Keep on bringing him. Look at you. Perfect. Right on. <laughs> Some nice fish, man. You felt that thump, didn't you? Oh, yeah. There you guys go. That's, oh, yeah. That's a little over a pound and 
probably 160 or so. It's a nice fish. Probably the 14 and a half, close to 15 inch range. Right in the top top of the lip there, that was that itty bit. Yep. It's in there good. Beautiful fish too. Is that a nice one, Randy? Oh yeah. Is that why you came here? Yeah, that's, Heck a, yeah. that's a giant on the lip. He ought to see us any second. That little one's gonna come in and run it. No. Nah. Come left a hair. Right there. There. He sure moved, but he didn't come in, did he come right? There you go. Come up a hair. Right there. Down an inch. Perfect. There he comes. Start slowly raising. Yank. There you got him. See that was a good fish. Bring him over here. Keep that pressure on him. There it might be a two pounder. Ooh. It's a nice one, brother. Oh yeah. Look at that. That itty bit's right in that top of the mouth. Perfect hook set. He's close. Wow. Yep, that's a beautiful fish. I don't know if he'll go to, but he'll be awful close. I just love these fish. Oh, I that's know. another thing, like I, they won't touch. They, they just take it from you and, oh, yeah. and throw it in a box. You know, I, I was like, whoa, whoa, I want to touch it. Yeah, you got to appreciate fish this size. Oh yeah. Come on, baby, hit the two. I don't know if he will or not. Huh? Two, three, brother. <laughs> that's a monster. That's my best. I, All right, so hold that pair like that. That is awesome, man. You love your crappie fishing, don't you? Oh, yeah. You got your priorities straight, is what that means. Uh -huh.